When I were just a lad, Jaffa cakes were it. Yep, used to get them in my lunchbox. Oh, that's nice. Today we're going to recreate them. As you can see, very few ingredients, very simple recipe. We've got flour, egg, and sugar to make the sponge to our Jaffa cakes. We've got orange jelly, which we're going to enhance with orange juice as well, and chocolate. I can't tell you how excited I am that we're finally making Jaffa cakes. I know, for the first time. Perfect. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is crack in two eggs and cast the sugar into a bowl, which we've got over a pan of simmering water and whisk. Thank you. By using the machine, it makes it a lot easier because you have got to do it for a long time. We're looking for about six to eight minutes until it's at a ribbon stage ah. and over simmering water partially cooks those eggs. In the meantime, Michael, Enjoy. we're going to do jelly. Before we called you Michael, you've been a bad boy. We called you Michael, yeah. Water into here, about 300 ml, along with orange jelly. Now, obviously, this is just pre-bought orange jelly. If you can break that up into there so it dissolves. What do Jaffa cakes mean for you? They will, they're orange chocolate biscuits. Yeah, but do you remember them? Ooh, like biscuits and cakes. Up? I remember you, I used to have a tube of three that I used to have in my pack lunch when I was at primary school. I remember the advert, you get the full moon. Half moon. Half moon. Total eclipse. So these Jaffa cakes are going to be huge because we're going to make them in muffin tins. Oh, nice. So they're much bigger size. We're also going to add extra orange flavour into our sponge in the form of zest. And our orange juice goes into there as well. So it's a really souped up orange jelly and a souped up orange sponge. Souped up? Where's as the soup going? <laughs> as in super. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, we oui, super. So orangey. I it's love sweet. fresh citrus fruit. Wow. So as soon as you're happy that all the jelly bits have dissolved, then pour it into a tray that's lined with cling film so you get a layer of jelly. That can be put into a fridge set up. Now, speaking from experience, do that carefully because you don't want to spill it everywhere. That's not the fridge. Nope, <laughs> but here's someone made earlier. Oh, look. And that's what you Mr. end up Blue with. Mr. Blue Peter. Mm. There we go. Super jelly that's just in Would sheet form. Would you stop saying the word super? That's about the fifth time so far. Pretty good jelly that's in <laughs> sheet form. And now, hopefully, there we go. Nice, thick ribbon stage. That's in no time. Oh, oh, I knew oh, you were going to do oh, that. What, what are you doing? Turn it off. Why are you, no, you're pushing it the wrong way. And now we can fold in our flour. So you can see how much air is in there now. That started off as two eggs and a bit of sugar. Now we can put in our flour. Lovely. Carefully fold it in. Spoon this into muffin tins. I've just lightly greased them so that it doesn't stick. And we literally need that much in each. Just enough to cover the bottom because it will continue to rise in the oven. Jaffa cakes aren't that thick, are they? No, and this should be the same consistency as a Jaffa cake when you eat it. So it's kind of a slightly chewy, soft, awesome sponge. Really light and fluffy. Yes. Mm. Doing a grand job there, Ben. <laughs> what we're doing is just demonstrating for these guys at home how easy this is. This can go into an oven, Mike, at 180 degrees Celsius for Thank 10 you. minutes. Jamie? <laughs> and then in the meantime, we can melt some chocolate, come back and finish our cakes of Jaffa. Oh, cakes of Jaffa. Now that our sponges have cooked and had time to cool, we've just kind of eased around the edge to loosen them off so you end up with our sponge biscuit base. Oh, fantastic. But leave them in the muffin tins. Now we can come to our jelly, which is obviously our middle layer, a little cutter, just a little bit smaller than the circles, oh, yeah. and then just cut out jelly. Oh. It really is that simple. Do you want to put one on each sponge? You should end up with something that looks like that. I think it's the best part of a Jaffa cake. Look at, look at that wobble. Although it does drive me mad. Have you seen Barry eat a Jaffa cake? He like nibbled all the chocolate off, then all the cake, and just left with the jelly bit. That's how you eat Jaffa cakes. If you read the back of a packet of Jaffa cakes, in the instructions, it <laughs> says, instructions. deconstruct the Jaffa cake. I don't believe it. I want to hear from you guys. How do you eat your Jaffa cakes? Comment uh, below in the comment box. I want to know exactly how you eat your Jaffa cakes. And finally, perhaps the best part of the Jaffa cake, dark chocolate. And all you need to do is dribble loads of it on, and then ease it to the edge quite quickly before that jelly melts, like so. You've got, you've even got the lump on top. Yeah, that's the jelly. Well, yeah, I know, but that's what, <laughs> that's what Jaffa cakes look like. Yeah, and these it? look it's like, like amazing Jaffa cakes, except they're bigger and better. So we've just whacked these in the fridge straight after. Yeah, you can leave them at room temperature, the chocolate will set, but we want to speed in a up fridge it's going to be even easier. So they go into a fridge to set up. Meanwhile, fortunately, we have some we've already done. And these ones have already set. Yes! Lovely. So we can scoop them out and grab ourselves a plate and then just ease them out and I reckon we'll stack them up. This is just one of many desserts, cakes and biscuits, isn't it, Jamie? <laughs> Do you know what? Funnily enough, it is. It's just one of many desserts, cakes and biscuits that we've done before. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. It's Sorted Food. And we're bringing you them every week. Look, it might be wobbly, 
But there is our ultimate Jaffa cake stack sorted. Now we could just eat them straight away or we could do this. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna eat them straight away. Okay, <laughs> that is a Jaffa cake. It's pretty good. I think it's better than a Jaffa cake. Biscuit, sorry, cake, cake. jelly, chocolate. Jaffa cake, what could go wrong? You got half moon there. <laughs>